How's it, Cabo Brasil? How you doing? Alright, like the song? Because <laughs> that's what we must be. We must be their world warriors right now, so. So you feel it, you know. <laughs> um, anyway, playoffs is here. Wild card weekend. Cowboys versus Bucks, Monday Night Football. You know who I'm rolling with. I'm rolling with the Cowboys. All right, so some players are coming back. Good. You know, we can talk strategy. We can talk this. We can talk that. Um, the injury reports, you know, right now is, you know, if you if they if they can make it on, if, the, if they're like, you know, they're going to make it on the field. To those that can make, cannot make it back on the field, there's nothing to talk about because that's, you know, it's, it's, it's win or go home. And all that. and then you know the fact is gonna you know I don't know how many times I mean probably probably that prop bet is gonna be put up there like as a high level is like how many times they're gonna bring up Cowboys never they beat Tom Brady you know not in the New England Patriots not with the not with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers Quincy Carter couldn't do it Tony Romo couldn't do it <laughs> Brandon Whedon couldn't do it uh, <clears throat> the reason why I'm laughing at the Brandon Whedon because um. I was at that game, and you know, like, you know, you know, it's gonna tie into what I'm gonna say and all that stuff. But you know, the defense was trying, you know, and all, and all that. We was keeping them for a while. The next thing you, know, you could see the slowly, slowly, slowly. The next thing you know, like, a, it's a blowout. Even though it was a slow, it's a, it was a slow kill kind of blowout way. And then, you know, and then towards the end of the game, you know, we was kind of like, okay, the game is out of hand. Just enjoying it and all that. And it's like, okay, maybe a garbage touchdown, you know, something just to feel, you know, this to get, you know, this to get a little excited about. And Brandon Whedon is facing us. We're, we're in the we're in the kind of corner of the end zone side, a little bit higher, but corner, corner of the end zone. Um, you know, like they get that first level, uh, get that one level, and then we're like a little bit above that, you know, so. So anyway, uh, Brandon Whedon chose the ball and he chose it right at the back of the end zone. And while everybody was booing, you know, we were speak. Me and my friend guys were speechless. We were just sitting there going, <laughs> "What was that?" And, you know, and it, and it's just like, "What was that?" And I was just okay. And then after you know hearing all the MVP chants, you know, da da da, and you know walking out, you know, you know walking out, walking past everybody, then looking at the back of the stadium, and I was like, "Oh, got to see the Cowboys play." Um, you know, we, you know, you hear all the cliches, you hear all the, man, the, the playoff, playoff intensity is this, you know, the urgency gotta be there, you know, um, the effort, the maximum effort, you know, um, not being, not being satisfied with just being, just being in the playoff. We heard all the cliches, we heard it all. Can we, you know, like from last year, all my theme for the last two years, can we be smart enough? Can we be disciplined enough to win the game? You know, and then that's and that's the biggest question. That that's the that's the thing that needs to be you know needs needs to be addressed. Not you know I don't I don't doubt a lot of these. I I don't doubt their efforts. I don't doubt the sense of urgency and all that because a lot of these guys you know like a lot of a lot of the time you know. Tyron Smith has been to, since 2011 and how many playoffs, how, you know, you know the playoffs and all that, like, chances to make it in the playoffs, in the playoffs, whatever. Fa you know, the failures at the failures. You know, of course he feels it. Of course he feels it. Zach Martin, same thing. Two, two, two Hall of Famers and all that. You know, Zeke and Dak, you know, uh, you know, Michael Parsons is like, man, you know, God sent Michael Parsons you know, and, and all that kind of stuff. You know, all, all that, yes, the urgency is there. I, I don't doubt that. The intensity is there. I don't doubt that. But can we be disciplined enough? Can we be, can we be smart enough to, to, to win this game in that way? You know, not, not, not getting a false start, you know, a false start and getting behind the chains early. Or getting a, or getting a 15, yard, 15 yard play. Next thing you know, it's like, next thing you know, it's like, uh, or, no, um, or there's, there's, um, there's a flag on the field. Uh, the Cowboys look like they're moving back. Oh, okay. It's uh, instead of instead of being, uh, first and ten, fifteen yards down the road. You know, fifteen yards down the field. Nope. It's, it's on ten yards backwards the other way, and it's first and twenty or second and twenty or whatever. 
you know when you when when the you know running the right route so that so when so when Dak throws the ball when Dak throws the ball to you 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 can you can you can make a you know you you're more open than what you know you're more open and whatever you know or like Dak is not throwing in the dirt or whatever um or possibly even in in, in harm's way or you know when you got a th when you got a key key down you know second down or or even or uh, better yet uh, third down you drop the pass you know or or if you wanted a running back Zeke or Ballard or whatever you know you gotta you gotta pick you gotta do a pick, pick, uh, blitz pickup and you miss and you miss your assignment you're not reading the right thing and all that and then yes you know you know I've been I've been one of those guys who's gonna be been, been kind of high, been highly critical of Dak lately. And he's deserved a lot of it, you know. You know, can he can he like know when like to say, you know what, I cannot put my defense in this situation, you know. Can we not get third three and outs and all that? You know, can can Kellen Moore call the call the right plays and we, can we execute it properly when it's when the play is called and and everything. So, you know, Dak throwing you know, Dak not throwing the interception deep in his own you know, in, in his own territory. So that so that you know so that um so that our defense is put in bad situations, and all that, you know defensively, bro. I I say this all the time. You know even though I consider um, Tom Brady the greatest of all time, but one thing I do consider is that he's the most protected quarterback of all time. You know like you got this defense has gotta be careful. You know like yes you wanna be aggressive. You wanna you want you wanna sack him and all that kind of stuff because he because he's good you know he's still that great quarterback that that can that can make um that that can make you know timely passes and and all that kind of stuff so you wanna make him as comfortable as possible but every time you got you know like every time is like every time each each game that I watch you know you know from the Cowboys and then then I watch you know then when 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 a when a game you know. When a game that Tom Brady is in and, and and they're playing, you know every time every time Tom Brady even gets hit, I'm like, are they gonna throw a flag? You know that's how bad it is. Like, oh, they're gonna call that. You know, <laughs> you know and that and that's the and that's the way it is. So it's like it, it's like almost impossible sometimes, and you know like and then when we do get them like in in bad situations like like third and long and all that, the defensive backs gotta be smart. They cannot they cannot get get called for illegal. You know. You know, illegal contact or defensive holding, and all that. You know, you got them turning. You got them second and long, turning long, and you're gonna give them a five yard penalty and an automatic first down, just for that. You know, so. And then the and the funny thing too is is the the they don't they they haven't run the ball all year except for one game. One game, and that was against us. We kind of let Leonard Fournette get get hot and all that like the last time, and you know. You know, and that's where, and you know, and then because you know Tom Brady likes to do that. You know that that's like num Tom Tom Brady's number one thing is to is to run play action and all that. So yeah, uh, so is this all the intensity, all the you know? Can we be smart? Can we can we just be smart enough? You know, in Hawaii we say Akamai, Brad. You know, you know this is you know you can bring up intensity. You can bring up every cliche out in the book and all that. You know, blood, sweat, and tears, and all that. It's gotta be here. You know, it's been all through the years, all through the, all through the, um. You know, all all those losses that we've seen. You know, you go, man, why did we do that? Or why why did this happen? And you know, is this is this is this sometimes the is the mental part aspect that we lose a lot of time, and all that. So, you know. And again, bruh, I want to see this team win so bad, bruh. You know, so. Anyway. Anyway, that's my video. Again, I hope you like the intro music and all that. All right. Mahalo for watching. Paniolo, boys. Who you with? You know who I'm with? I'm with the Dallas Cowboys.